very nice evening. Um, do you want a sneaky peek? It's, it's very shiny because of the light at the moment. Um, yeah. He looks so good. Um, and I know people wanted to see this. This is where the paint issue is. Can you see how it's scraped off in that circle? It's because this is quite tight. It is what it is. I covered it in the, uh, the build series and how I'm going to resolve it. Let's have a quick look down here before we go the other way. Nothing particular to talk about to be honest with you. I'm just going to enjoy a little ride around. The past three days has absolutely knackered me out just as I got the bike series finished. Uh, unfortunately, Reno had some training at work and her bike is currently off the road because of MOT and also because it's got a, a screw in its tire. Well, we thought it was a screw, but I found out what it was today. It was a hex bit. Very pretty. But uh, yeah, she had training, which meant I had to get up at like seven o'clock every morning. And as you know, I don't get to sleep till like four. Or so for three days straight, I've got about three hours sleep a night. And today was the last day I had to go up early. Tomorrow, Oh, tomorrow I can have a lay in. Look at all the birds. Obviously, flying ants about. See, this uh, bike is very happy, very healthy. This righteous stunt clutch, my god, it is the lightest clutch now. I have got it on the lightest setting and literally it's it's one finger and what's nice also about it is the fact that it is a little bit shorter than like a stock lever but not too short so I've still got plenty of grip on it I can get three fingers on it if I wanted to not that I need to two's enough I can hold on to the bar and pull it in and not move my little fingers these fingers which is so much more comfy for my hand because of the damage I have to it because it means I can grip with that part of my hand not the inner part of my thumb Now, Thursday night is bike night on the island, apparently. <laughs> it's become quite a big thing now. Having a bike meet down here, love it. Oh God, there's so many people taking my picture, Jesus Christ. They're not supposed to see the bike yet. No, you can't let that, you can't let it out. Okay, this has got a lot bigger than I last remember. And this is another thing, you know, I, I did my meets on the island in the past, up to about, what was it, about 50 people, 56 people, something it was the, that's quite nice, um, was the peak number. And I always considered like, you know, I can't do that, it's too many people. And yet this thing is just like, oh yeah, we're just doing a meet. So maybe I could do my meet down here, who knows? Having said that, do I want that much attention on the island? I, I don't know about that. <laughs> There we go, you might be able to see now, because I'm not going into the sun. If anyone's here and is like, Spicy, you didn't stop. No, I'm not stopping. I'm not, I'm not getting cornered this evening. on the average age of the people here I don't think anyone's going to recognise me which is quite nice in a way There you go, that's what the home bike night is becoming, it's getting huge. Surprisingly, when I jump back on this, considering it will be the first time I've ridden it in about three and a bit months, 
it felt completely natural to me, probably because I just didn't think about it. I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm on Derek, it is Derek, but it definitely does feel different. Uh, I need to soften the front suspension a little bit. I've got that a little bit too hard. The rear suspension, uh, the shock feels fine. Um, I may have slightly overdone it. It might be a little bit too firm, but then equally, it might be that I need to soften the rebound a bit. Oh, and also, locally, do any of you know where you can get uh, shocks regassed? Nice, you know. I don't know anywhere locally that does it. I do want to get a few of these chill rides in just to see if any problems arise before I get on a ride that you know, I'm going to start pushing it a little bit. I also need to get the new tyres. But it gives an opportunity for anything to, uh, any problems to show, to show at slow speeds and not flat out. Oh yeah, the handlebars, they're perfect. I wanted them to just give me just the ability to sit perfectly straight or much closer to perfectly straight without slightly leaning. And, uh, and it's done that because I've got them slightly tilted towards myself. They're, uh, they're slightly longer, higher even. I've just also realized that if anyone sees any of these pictures, I have my camera obviously on my chest, but I also have two big white strips of tape to, uh, to confuse the camera into exposing properly. I feel like an intruder on my own island. <laughs> Look at them all. Not that you can see much, probably because of the sun. I am terribly sorry about that. Well, I hope you found that relaxing or entertaining or something of some sort. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters as ever. And I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to see future videos. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please consider joining my Patreon to get early access to videos, questions answered in the monthly Q&A, your name on screen, and some exclusive content, all for as little as a dollar a month. You can also check out the links in the description to my merch and other ways to directly support the channel. Thanks for watching.